okay so we will now start with the next problem the next problem is uh, about sketching the set uh, b that is called that set b which is the set of all xy such that xy in r2 such that x is greater than 3 okay so how are we going to solve this problem so what we will do is we will first uh, look at the equation x equal to 3 now in the two dimension plane in the xy plane this uh, equation x equal to 3 is uh, actually represents what this represents a line so this represents a line which is uh, parallel to the y axis and it passes through the point 3 comma 0 so if I draw that line, it will be like this. So this is the line uh, x equal to 3. And now we want to really shade the region. We want to look at what is this region x greater than 3. So if you take any point in this particular part, if you take any point to the right hand side of the line of this x equal to 3 line, uh, what is going to happen is that the uh, x coordinate of that point so let me take this point in particular what, what can you say about the x coordinate of this point the x coordinate is always greater than 3 no matter what is the y coordinate we are not really worrying about the y coordinate so y coordinate can be anything but the x coordinate has to be always what always greater than 3 and, no, and not only that we want x strictly greater than 3 so we don't even want x equal to 3 so i'm going to replace this line by a dotted line okay and i'm going to shade the entire right hand side of this particular line and i'm not going to include that line also okay so this region which is on the right hand side of this line is uh, called as what is called as the region x greater than 3 Suppose the question has x less than 3. In that case, the answer would have been just simple. I would instead of shading the right part, I will shade the left part of the region. And what is the region x equal to 3? This is just a line. This is x equal to 3. So I hope you understand that the entire x5 plane is divided into three parts what are the three parts the left part is x less than 3 the right part is x greater than 3 and the line itself is what x equal to 3 so on the left hand side you have less than sign on the right hand side you have a greater than sign suppose i take a next set is i'm taking suppose i'm having set c which is set of all x y in r2 means r2 means the xy plane such that y is greater than or equal to 2. Now here I will do what? I will uh, draw the line y equal to 2 firstly in the xy plane and that is a horizontal line parallel to the x-axis. This is the line y equal to 2 passing through with point. What is the point? This point is 2 comma 0 sorry uh, 0 comma 2. So this is the line y equal to 2 and i want y should be greater than 2 means that all these points over here in this upper region their y coordinate is always going to be what their y coordinate is always going to be greater than 2 because then uh, your y coordinate can be 3 4 3.5 4.5 4 and anything so i'm going to shade in this case the upper region of this uh, line including the line why am i including the line i'm including the line because it is given to me that it is greater than or equal to so even equal to is allowed so y equal to 2 line will also be considered and the upper region will also be considered so if i if i delete the upper region and the line this lower region that we see this lower region now obviously is all of you must be knowing that this lower region is y less than 2 okay so again the plane is divided into three parts i will say the lower region is y less than 2 strictly less than 2 
on the boundary y is equal to 2 and on the upper part y is strictly greater than 2 right but in the question we have to shade what we have to shade y greater than 2 also and y equal to 2 also so this is the reason this will be the answer to this particular question let me go to the next set i'm taking a set now let us call that set d i'm going to shade all the points x comma y such in r2 such that x square upon 4 plus y square upon 9 is uh, equal to how much is equal to 1 okay now to, to draw this set we have to do some simple calculations so i will take a i will take the equation first x square upon 4 plus uh, y square upon 9 is equal to 1 and just simply put uh, y equal to 0 if you put y equal to 0 what will happen in this case uh, you will have x square upon 4 is equal to 1 okay and therefore what will you get x square will be equal to 4 and therefore x has values how much therefore the values of x will turn out to be plus minus 2 so in this case the pairs x comma y that i'm going to get will be what x has two values x is either 2 or x is minus 2 so i'm going to write a 2 here and i'm going to write a minus 2 in the second set and for both of these values of x the value of y is how much the value of y is 0 so i'm going to write 2 0 and minus 2 0 so i got two points then i will instead of putting y equal to 0 now we will put x equal to 0 so put x equal to 0 now when i put x equal to 0 i'm going to get this equation will become y square upon 9 will be equal to 1 and therefore y square is equal to 9 and uh, therefore what will i get y becomes plus minus 3 and therefore the pairs that i'm going to get x comma y the pairs x comma y will be equal to the x coordinate is 0 for both the pairs and y coordinate is what in the first place i will put y coordinate as plus 3 in the second coordinate i will put y equal to minus 3 so i got four points 2 0 minus 2 0 0 3 and minus 0 3 i will plot these points on the plane now in the xy plane so this is the point 2 0 and this is the point minus 2 0 then i will put three units up and i will have this point as 0 3 and then here i have what 0 minus 3 so these are the four points that i'm going to have in the plane and, and what is the equation we know that x square upon a square plus y square upon b square equal to 1 this is actually representing what this actually represents an ellipse and this ellipse will pass through these four points so i will join these four points of ellipse So this is the way the ellipse is uh, drawn. Okay. Now remember that. Uh, so this is our answer of the question. So this is the set D. So D is what? D is the collection of all points on the on the ellipse. There are infinitely many points on the ellipse. Suppose the question is changed to. If I just change the question a little bit and instead of having x square upon 4 plus y square upon 9 equal to 1 suppose i convert this equal to sign and make it less than or equal to then i hope you now have a cl clear idea that in this case the region that i'm going to shade will be the region which will be inside the ellipse including the border of the ellipse because it is less than or equal to so this region that i'm now shading is nothing but x square upon 4 plus y square upon 9 is less than or equal to 1. Suppose the question is x square upon 4 plus y square upon 9 is greater than 1. Now you have got a clear idea that what am I going to shade? I'm going to shade the exterior of the ellipse. I'm going to shade the exterior of the ellipse without the boundary because it is not equal to 
So I will not touch the ellipse where I'm going to do the shading. So this exterior part, this is nothing but what x square upon 4 plus y square upon 9 is strictly greater than 1. Okay. 